So we got from Marek13 who said, Something I don't see mentioned enough is how WoW in comparison to other MMOs is lacking in RP features. It actually feels like Blizzard actively ignores the community. What are the odds of them getting some love in the future? Well, I think the customization things are definitely good for the RP community. Of course. I don't have a great sense of what the RP community actually wants in terms of new game features that would better support RP. I mean, in my head, I can imagine, you know, toys to let people, you know, you can use the toy system to give role players some props. Maybe mm. there's something about props. Maybe the likes of player housing or guild housing or the class order halls being important again would be really good for the RPers. Um, yeah, so I think I'd mostly say RPers, you know, make your voices heard. Certainly try to let us know what sorts of features you guys would like so that we can, you know, uh, try to boost up those, those voices uh, for sure. I think as for it feeling Blizzard ignores the community, I think it's like two things. Like number one, the RP community is probably the best at taking care of itself. You know, you can make a new RP scenario between a few guilds and away you go. So the devs yeah. won't feel the pressure to make as much content there. Um, and then also I think a, a lot of the, you know, some of the WoW sort of higher end or leadership -y people, um, you know, that they are coming more from the gameplay and system side of things. And maybe they don't oh. have as much of an appreciation for somebody who, who RPs. So, uh, you know, maybe it's a mix of things, and certainly the more we can get the RPers' uh, perspectives out, the better. Yeah, I mean, I think I think one of the important things is they've, because they've largely been the happiest, they've been the least important, and they still are, you know, in a world where World of Warcraft was very, very good in every capacity, I can imagine the RP people getting a lot of really nice stuff, because they would finally have the room to focus on the, the people who are, uh, who require the least amount of effort to be satisfied. It's probably the cleanest way to say that overall. I think that's the that's kind of the kind of the important part. Also, yeah, where the fuck's the dance studio? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, so we got two from Razor Claw. Hmm. Do you think that Jen and Mike, that's of course the new uh, co-leaders of Blizzard, took time looking at the beta uh, to now videos on Shadowlands and how FF14 devs communicate with the player base? Uh, I don't know if Jen and Mike. Uh, uh, it. So, I really don't know what Jen's doing. Mike, it's also, I don't know what he's literally doing. I know what he's doing in his free time. Mm. And that has involved things like him saying, remove the AOE cap. Yeah. So, you know, good man, Mike. I agree with you there. Um, I would not be surprised if they, you know, they come in. They're a bit more fresh to the situation. They see a community that's not happy. And yeah, it's a pretty consistent set of things they want and a you know a dev team that hasn't really delivered in those things and advocates for some change i could totally see that happening now certainly not in a capacity where it's got anything to do with 9.1.5 other yeah. than maybe you know mike comes in and you know maybe last week he says hey it's me your new co-leader i f i just reviewed the wow project and i noticed that you guys are working in a bunch of things and because i am a world of warcraft player I do know the players would really like these things. So with our PR being totally in the shitter, uh, I don't mean in regards to the other thing. I mean, the actual, just the game itself. Yeah. How about you do some posts? People are always talking up those posts from Yoshi P. Could we do that? I could see something like that happening because words are very easy to implement. That's, yeah. I think as much as I, you know, as, as much as that could go, um, yeah. yeah. For, for a little bit of flavor on that, because um, I wasn't sure if co-leader was a new role or was a responsibility they were taking on top of their existing job. On LinkedIn, Ibarra has changed his actual job to co-leader, Blizzard Entertainment. He has now started that. Right, so his, his job is leading. He is no longer the EVP and GM of platform and technology. On the other hand, uh, uh, Jennifer has not updated her LinkedIn and is still the EVP of development. So I feel like I think there's maybe a quick thing, a very, very sharp move of right you to run the show and they're going to work out actual details of what they do later. Yeah. But I feel like the... Yeah, you don't axe jab <laughs> almost overnight and then know yeah. exactly what the new roles are, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, the thing, the, the thing that I definitely want to, or definitely hope is the, the correct narrative, and it's the one I'm going to assume until I see otherwise, is that this is the World of Warcraft development team with either a fresh look in the mirror or a fresh boot up the hole. I don't think they're 
being specifically directed because all of this stuff is fairly obvious. I feel like it was likely an iteration of, you know, Jen and Mike coming in and going, you know, maybe it was as aggro as Jab's not around anymore. You need to shape yourselves up. Or maybe it was, you know, <laughs> I, 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 can't, I don't even know what it could be other than that. Maybe mm. they're nice about it and said, hey, you know, uh, we see things aren't going so well. If you can prove the use case and pull a little bit back, we'll give you more resources. Maybe it's cart, maybe it's a bit of a stick, I don't know. But it's, I definitely think it's primarily the World of Warcraft development team with a new lease of life. Be that, you know, <laughs> be that a sword hanging over their head or they literally all just woke up. Because, I mean, you can see how that could happen mm. where they're all just kind of like completely nose to the grindstone trying to get this done. But then this happens and they all kind of wake up in a sense where they're like, oh, fuck, shit, wait. And they take a look around. They're kind of basically shocked back into existence by all this. Maybe they spend a couple of days not working because, you know, they said they, they stopped work and maybe they all had a big meeting and said, you know, we haven't had a meeting like this in a long time. We need to talk what we do. And then someone... Yeah, then, you it's know, like, hey, we're so fragmented. We barely yeah. talk to each other overall because we're not in office anymore. And uh, we've actually sleepwalked into completely shitting the bed. What do we do? I mean, that that's what I... Uh, some of it's fucking copium for me, to be honest. But I think that's actually, like, a possible thing. A possible a possible answer. Is it... Can I have some? Because from what I've learned over the last mm. while is that copium seems to be the most incredibly powerful drug anyone could be on and oh. you know for is it for the worst of the world maybe is it for the better of the individual's mm. experience uh, maybe mm. seems like some potent shit <laughs> yeah um, actually fits. speaking of potent shit do you want a pepsi max um sure whoa that that took like several hundred times uh longer yeah than i expected it's trying to remember if i had anything left in my seven up and i Let's do see. not it's all kind of um, kind of lackluster, but that, those would be the multiple solutions. Like, thank you very much. What the fuck? Oh no! You're such an idiot. <laughs> there we go. I've got my Pepsi. Fuck you're 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 actually a buffoon. <laughs> how did you not think? How did you not think this through? Like, it was supposed to be a comedy bit. Yeah. It was <laughs> well, it was funny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> It was kind of funny. It was supposed to be a comedy bit where yeah. it would smoothly descend out of frame and then yeah. Matt could grab the, <laughs> the Bepis and continue smoothly on with his uh, statement. Yeah. But I clamped the magic arm so tight that it just got stuck to the Pepsi. Yeah. No, so no. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Another gag ruined.